So there I was at the Red Sox game, just trying to take some photos, and suddenly, bam! Whew, that was close. Good thing I have good reflexes. Um, no, I didn't actually catch a foul ball during a game or anything like that, but I have almost been hit by, I don't know, 10 to 20 foul balls while sitting in the photo well at the Red Sox games. In past years, it is something that you have to be careful with and something you have to look out for. So I've been spared all those times. Other photographers uh, haven't been as fortunate. Some people wear helmets in there because people get hit in the head and it can seriously hurt you. But you are sitting there, it's just like a concrete little area so the ball if it comes in really fast it ricochets off everything anyway and you're probably going to get hit at some point. So I've been spared but my computer actually has not. As you can see here my computer got blasted by a line drive and scared the out of me. So it knocked my computer off of the little stand I had it on five feet down onto the cement ground and I just I literally couldn't breathe. I was like so nervous, I didn't check it for five minutes, the game was still going, so I was just like, I'm just gonna take some photos, recompose myself, check it then. As you can see, it left an indent and ball mark on the outside of my computer. And typically, I have these Velcroed on here. So the ball hit down here. This thing shot 50 feet into the field. The security guard had to walk out there, I didn't even realize, the security guard had to walk out there, grab it and give it back to me so I could Velcro it back on my computer, which now the screen was separated from the case. Oh, and I mean, it still worked, so that was good. Put some gaff tape up on top where that opening was, down the side. There's a little bit of yellow on the tops and the sides because the screen was a little warped from because the case was warped, uh, but it kept on trucking for a couple months and then I finally got a new computer anyway because um, I was sort of planning to and sold that other one to someone on eBay. And honestly, I'm kind of happy that it, it hit my computer because my computer was sitting here, ball was coming, it would have drilled me right in the ribs, probably cracking something, and it would have been miserable. And I have to say the worst part of the experience was for the next 10 minutes, there was 20 little kids that came down and like, hey, do you have that ball? Can I have that ball? And just asking me for the ball. And this isn't the ball, I, I honestly don't even know where that ball went. This is from practice. Another sport where I've had a close run in is basketball. And this one's a little bit harder to avoid contact because most of the time you're sitting on the floor right on the baseline. But for this one, it's more about, you know, just being ready again. If a player's coming at you, you can kind of put your hand out, brace yourself a little bit, um, take a little bit of that impact. Also, sometimes I'll have my camera on the ground in front of me taking a remote photo, so I gotta be ready to sort of pick that up, make sure that they're not gonna fall into that. If I have extra gear, it should be behind me so that players aren't running into it and getting injured themselves. As you can see here, so in this case, I had a camera in front of me, I was holding the trigger down, and on this layup, right, the player's coming right at me, take a couple photos, and then I just get out of the way and try to dodge a little bit, put my hand out just to you know, not get run over, make sure the player's safe. And he sort of went between me and the other photographer a little bit, sort of hit both of us a little bit, but ended up being all right. All right, so moving on to ultimate, which is one of my favorite sports to shoot because you have great access since there's not a lot of people shooting it. It's not a huge, well-known sport. Um, so I can essentially be anywhere I want around the field. And actually with ultimate, Normally like with football or something like that, you have to be behind the benches, behind the players. You can only shoot from sort of around the end zones as you could see in my last video. But with Ultimate, they actually have a little buffer between sort of the benches and the field and they allow certain photographers to be in that little buffer zone during the game. So I can get a lot more different angles and things that you can't get in other sports, um, which is awesome. It's one reason I love shooting it. If you're new to photography, new to sports, Look for ultimate tournaments, things like that around you when they come back because there's not a lot of people shooting and it's a great game to photograph, right? So I can be right up on the field when they're playing the game, which means I have a lot of responsibility to not get hit by players, not interrupt the plays. And I take that really seriously because if anything were to happen, if someone were to run into me to, and get hurt, step on my camera if I left it on the ground, something like that, then my access and everyone else's access is gonna be taken away. And the access is what gets us great photos. So 
you do not want to be that person that gets your access taken away from not just you but everyone else so you really got to be mindful of where you are on the field where the play is and the better you know the game the more likely it is that you're going to see a play coming and be able to get out of the way right away because i'm always going to try to get out of the way instead of getting a photo now you can see in this sequence here that they're near the end zone a lot of times when they're in this area there's a cut up the line to the front corner of the end zone or across the field. So I knew I wanted to be there. It's a shot I don't get all the time with like a wide angle close to the field, but I knew I had to be really ready to move backwards. And so as you can see in the sequence, you see the player coming, see the player coming, and you can see I keep one eye in the camera, one eye open, looking just out around, just my peripheral so I know what's happening. And I'll start backing away as the player is getting closer and closer, and you can see that they get really close and nothing happened because I'm moving backwards with the camera. You can see I stopped, you know, photographing because I'm moving backwards and he does get really close, but so I'm probably at least 10, 15 feet off the field at this point and he's had some time to slow down and we don't collide. But you have to be aware of those things. If I wasn't aware and knowing that he's gonna be coming, sprinting across that way, if I'm just standing my ground, we're gonna hit each other, he's gonna run into my camera, could hurt me, could hurt him, could hurt my gear. That didn't happen. So you have to be aware at all times of what's happening and again, knowing the game is gonna help you avoid certain situations where you're gonna get run over. Cause it's the same thing in football. You can Google it. There's photographers, cameramen, audio people get hit all the time on the sidelines. Cause you're, you know, five feet from the field, they're focused on staying in bounds. So if they get hit out of bounds, you know, they don't know that you're there and it's gonna hurt when you get hit by those. They have pads, you don't. So just be aware, knowing that like, if someone's coming here, you might have to take a step back. You might have to put the camera down so that you can look and watch and maybe you miss a photo but honestly it may not it's not going to be some award-winning photo most likely so it's okay to put that down to make sure that you are safe and that the players are safe so when you know what situations you're looking out for you can also sort of think about what situations are safe to have your camera a little bit closer to the players or be closer to the sidelines and get some good photos that you typically may not get at other times while being safe. Like this in basketball, if the player is taking the ball out right in front of me, sometimes I'll put the camera down in between their feet, get a nice photo, and right, I'm not really worried about someone running into me, I just wanna make sure that they don't step back onto the camera and hurt their ankle or something like that. And in ultimate, if the disc goes out of bounds, you have to take the disc in from where it went out of bounds on the sideline so I know if that happens, I generally have 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how far out the disc went, to run up there and lay on the ground and get close, and I get a wide angle, or I reach up over top and get a nice wide view over top of people throwing. But you have to make sure that you're far enough back that you're not gonna get hit with the disc because sometimes they step out um, into where you are. And yeah, you never wanna interfere with the play. It doesn't matter what sport that you're photographing, you really have to be careful. I've been hitting the head with soccer balls that are ricocheted out of bounds, or right? you can get hit by hockey pucks that come through the little hole in the glass or go over the glass, or even hockey players will hit the glass and if your camera's down there, it's gonna probably smack you in the eye. So you have to be aware all the time of what's going on. And it hurts a little bit sometimes, but it's part of the industry and hopefully you can stay safe. Right again, the more you know the game, the better it's gonna be. So keep yourself safe and keep the athletes safe. See you next time. is basketball.